SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, we are here speed testing Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband Network on a standalone 5G configuration. All right, that's the Samsung Galaxy S24. And we're on a Verizon Frontline account. And I don't know what I'm connected to. <laughs> but something tells me uh, we might possibly be picking up some millimeter waves. So I'm going to test that for you guys here in a second. I'm going to see what we're connected to on the bands. 900 down, 12 up. We're going to do a second test. And really what I want to do is I want to, I want to test it up against the iPhone, which is on a legacy account, which doesn't have access to the SA 5G. But uh, I want to see here if we're connected to N77 and the C-band. The node is kind of far away. So while I wouldn't be surprised that it might connect, I mean, it might not be. I don't know. Uh, I just ran a speed test and it was like 400 megs. So... We lost some throughput anyways close to a gig down we got 13 up all right here is the iphone and this one is on a legacy account that's the 2017 new verizon unlimited plan it does not have access to the sa network so this is putting me on nsa that means it is connecting to lte plus 5 gnr so this is going to be like band 66 lte maybe band 13 or band 5 lte then it'll add the n77 uh, two carriers. It'll be 100 megahertz N77 with a second component of like 40 megahertz. And I don't think we're connected to the millimeter wave either. Uh, I think it might be a little bit faster. 489 down, 18 up. Um, let's go ahead and come back to this one. Um, and what I want to do here is I, I want to see which bands I'm connected to, right? All right, so SIM information. And it says here... N7700, and then 10 megahertz to N5, another 40. Oh, okay, so that's cool. So that might explain why the first test we're getting uh, 400 down, and now they're getting a gig. All right, we got the additional carrier of 40 megahertz of N77. And that's why I got a lot faster. And if you lose a carrier or something you lose bandwidth, obviously it's going to get slower, so... Good stuff here. Uh, interesting. This is kind of my preliminary testing on standalone 5G for Verizon early in the morning. Uh, but it's it's performing pretty well. And as I was first testing it, it was very reliable in its connection. But first kind of look, comparing it to the NSA piece from, you know, the iPhone on a legacy plan without SA, you know, 489 and 18 compared to 9, 918. Uh, a little bit different there but anyways thanks for watching guys comment let me know what you guys have been seeing from verizon how is the performance compared to where you are have you seen standalone go active for verizon we're just starting to see it here in the last week or two in the cleveland market but thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video give this one a, a share like it rate it for us and we'll see you guys all in the next one